over to, we actually saw the calendar. Let's go into tasks real quick. This is pretty straightforward. Uh, you can clear, set up tasks and you can uh, set up any number of task groups over here and you can share them as well. Then we have instant messaging and that's pretty neat. Uh, you have the mail off five assistant, which I won't go into too much here, but this allows you to do is literally just, let's say for example, you can have this uh, dock or undock. So if I undock this, uh, let's call it a little sticky note here. And I can click on mail, and this is literally anywhere. I can just have it anywhere on my system. And I can, let's say, for example, in an email, and I want to just send an appointment. I can just start clicking appointment. And then I just literally just enter the information, and it enters right into my calendar. So this is just another quick and efficient uh, feature of Attain Response. It allows you to uh, manage, your, uh, you know, manage your system a little bit easier. All right, so let's close out of here. All right, let's go into Documents. Now, Documents have become a very instrumental tool within Attain Response, just like the rest of the system has. What we do with documents is literally just create online documents, and you can do it in here with this rich WYSIWYG editor, for example, and literally can just create this just like you were in Word, for example, but it's all online. You can enter spreadsheets, insert images, that sort of thing. And then what you can do is, let's go back into documents, and you can see that you can have a history of who's changed them. You can share individual notebooks. You can create as many notebooks as you like and share them with whomever you like. And then those people can access them and make changes, and it'll keep track of all the history of when they're changed and what has changed in each version. It's really cool. All right, so let's close out here. And then in a briefcase, Briefcase is really neat, and let me go ahead and delete this one. Let me show you this real quick. All right, so we'll just delete that. We'll go to the inbox, and the briefcase allows you to store your documents here rather than on your desktop. And the reason that you're actually on your computer, and the reason that you might want to do that is because it's a lot more convenient, and we back up all our data every single night, so you have it all in here. And it's easier from within email to save documents. So let's say, for example, I got a briefcase example here. So let's you can view uh, this document as HTML. Let's go through this just real quick. View documents as HTML, and you'll see that the document just shows up right there. So it's really quick in order to uh, see your documents as opposed to having to download it and then open it within the native application, which is PDF. You can just literally click on view HTML, see it real quick, and then you know add to briefcase, for example, or just leave it because you can also search uh, for attachments and search for content with inside attachments. Now let's click to add to briefcase. And we'll click on the briefcase we want to add it to. And files created. Let's go back to the briefcase up here. And you'll see it's been added. And there it is. And you can just literally add any number of documents you want and change the views that you'd like to see, etc. It's really neat. OK, so then last, let's just go to Preferences here. And uh, you can see uh, a, a number of tabs here that allow you to set your system up exactly how you want it to. Uh, in general, you can click on the Mail tab, Composing tab, Signatures, uh, Mail filters. You can do all kinds of filtering, really neat, uh, the calendar options, etc. So you can just go through here and uh, check out our Learning Center to learn what each of these tabs do and uh, get this thing set up exactly how you want it so you can uh, really be efficient within your email. Accounts is one, one thing that I want to show you here real quick. And what this allows you to do is set up multiple accounts that you can manage right within the MailFib interface. So for example, if you have a Yahoo account uh, or any other personal account or business email account, you can set that up right from within here. And all you do is just set up a persona or an external account. I recommend persona. Look at the video tutorials in the Learning Center to learn how to do this. It's really easy, though. And the reason I do that is what I do is uh, on my third-party emails, uh, email accounts, I just forward those emails to my Attain Response account and then set up filters to filter them to appropriate folders and then set up a persona. So for example, if I get an email to, let's just say, um, you know, wbw at uh, attainresponse.com, it's one of my aliases. And then what will happen is the system will automatically know that. And then I can, when I click on the reply or I click on a new email address, you can see that you can choose whether the from email address and reply to email address are going to be from Bill at Yahoo, customer service, etc. But when you reply to an email that's sent to a specific address, it will automatically select that persona or account for you. Okay, so let's just go in here real quickly and show you how to add media to an email. You click on new email. And you can see here that you have two buttons, Set Template and Add Media. And Add Media actually has a little drop down as well where you can record a video on the fly. And I'll show you that here in a minute. And Add Media, which allows you to add video and images directly from your Media F5 account, which is down in here. And that's our video and image hosting service.
So let's just real quick go ahead and set a template. And we'll just click on, uh, let's say, for example, business announcements. And uh, we'll choose this one. And you can see it shows up here as a preview. And then you can go ahead and set this template. And you'll see it shows up right in here. And now we'll just uh, enter these down. These will actually show up fine when you send them. And I'll just enter them down right here, right now, real quick. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and say that we want to put a video right here. So I can just go ahead up here and then either click on Add Media. And you can see that you have images, flash video, and Windows Media video. And we'll click on Flash Video, for example. And then let's say we want to click on, I don't know, I want to send this one, for example. And what will happen if this is checked is it'll use the default thumbnail, which is actually a frame of the video. But if I want to use my own, let's say I did a video virtual tour, and I really have a cool image that I want to use, I can come in here and choose a custom thumbnail, which is really any image you have in the Media F5 account, and you can click on one of those and use them. But let's go ahead and just use the default for now and go ahead and click on Insert. And there you go. A video has been added, and you'll send this out to somebody. They'll click on this, and the video will start streaming down their computer. Let's go ahead and just delete this now, and then we'll click on Add Media, which is going to launch the video recording. You'll see me here in a second, so there I am. And now I can go ahead and just click on record here. And now you get the countdown. And now I'm recording. And you can click on stop. And then now this button becomes available. And you click on preview. All right, that's it for uh, this quick overview. Uh, like I said, any questions uh, or you want to learn more about it, just feel free to go to the Learning Center. Thanks a lot.